Now the season of festivity has come and we will have a lot of fun with our friends and families over the food because we love them and we will feed them and we will get the food. Do you know it may not be the right thing for you to do? Namaste Goddesses. Welcome to yet another episode of Planet Aphrodite with me now. So in today's episode, we are going to talk about something that is so rampant in our society across cultures and nations, actually, that whenever there is a holiday time or a festival time, we tend to make a lot of food and share it with our loved ones. That's how we share our love with them. So this distinction became very clear to me only when I went on my health journey, that love and food are two different things, are two different feelings. One is to nourish your body, other is to nourish your soul. And these are two totally different things. So how is it different? Because food is good, love is good too, right? It's all mixed up. Suppose you are allergic to some food item and your loved ones, say your child loves it, okay? So will you not allow them to eat? Or will you start eating? What will you do? None of the above, right? You will let them have what they are having and you will not have because you're allergic to it. In that sense, you can relate, okay, this is not good for my body, so I should not be having it. And if you continue this, you would realize that most of the stuff that we stuff ourselves with, especially during Diwali, Holy, New Year, Christmas, you name it, and we do it all the time, we tend to overfeed others and we tend to overfeed ourselves in the name of love and festivity. So this Diwali, what I am requesting you to consider is be mindful of what is going inside your body because finally you love your body. It's one of the very important tool for self-love that we love and care and nourish our body. And food is a very important medium through which we can nourish our body. Uh, I lost all my weight through food, which was interesting. I'm not asking you to do that. But what I am suggesting that just separate love and food. Moment you do that in your head, you will find a lot of freedom. You will find a lot of freedom, and especially in culture like ours, where people connect that if you don't have that one extra puri, one extra mitai, one extra sweet, one extra whatever in the name of love, it might be harmful for your body. So just avoid that and clarify it in your head first, because still the point you are clear with your in your head, you will not be able to respond to the situation correctly. So I will give you one example of mine. It's little too extreme. You do not have to follow it. Do it under the expert guidance as they advise. So it was my birthday a couple of years back. And then I was doing my one month shaman fasting. And I cut two cakes. It was my birthday. My family was there. And I cut two cakes. And I didn't touch anyone because they were not appropriate to my body that time. I did not touch it. Did I love them? Yes. But was my food different? Yes. Was it my birthday? Yes. Did I have all the rights to celebrate my birthday? Yes, I did my way. And I had salads with chutney. That's all I had. So food is food and love is love. Moment you make this distinction very, very clear in your head, your life is sorted in many, many ways. <laughs> Wish you a wonderful year ahead. Wish you a great Diwali. May you all stay safe, you st all stay happy. And tomorrow is World Diabetes Day as well. So this could be a very useful tip for that as well, that what are you feeding yourself? Our, it's If your body is your temple, what is it that you're offering to your body? And with that thought, Goddess, I wish you a great year ahead. Stay safe, stay sane. And just a gentle reminder, Increase the dose of self-love because self-love can cause miracles. Bye-bye. Take care. Namaste.